Hi, this is Steve again. I'm just creating another chart um, for this new video, or this, yeah, uh, for the new version. So let me create that real quick. Um, and then this is just the difference between the last video, so I could show some changes here. Okay, so now it's still not coming in with the sound, so you can go pick a Oop, wrong one. You can go pick that manually until we get that default to come in. Um, still kind of working on that. If you have an issue with sound, you'll get a hold of us and um, yeah, just reach out in social hour or something because we're thinking it might be you. Um, in any event, these are now holding um, 813 for the four range and you want to turn it on. If you do not turn this background color on, you won't get background colors. Um, and but if you do have it on, then you will only see um, order signals when the background co colors match the red and green. Um, other than that, I like this off just to kind of keep it clean up here, but that's personal preference. Um, and that's all I've got. So this is what it looks like here now. And they are both, um, uh, the arrows are on both. So if you were like me that don't really kind of want to see it, I could do that. But if you're like some people that like to see it, you could do this. So in any of the arrows are here and these, uh, the early warning, which is still in the process of being uh, worked up because we've got some issues on it still and it's still not doing everything. And it may not do everything because of the way that rules line up and et cetera. But in any event, um, they are right here, which are the same of these here. We went with a different color only because um, it didn't show as well on the on the red, so we have a light salmon on the on the bar itself. And the reason why I like it up there is because then as it comes in, I mean, what are you looking at? You're looking at, you know, you're looking at the actual bar, and so this way you can kind of see it um, as it's coming in and decide what you want to do when you get the signal. Um, I mean, this is a cleaner version too because there's really nothing to look at other than the signal, so it might be a, a fast way, and I could certainly respect the process of that. So that's really about it. Um, I talked earlier about the, um, the, um, the stop management for yourself if you're if you're using it or whatever yours are. This is what I'm using here. It's this one and the stop management is here. Um, so that's what that is if you're using that at all however you want to do it. And then uh, so I like to have that off. Um, the other thing I have here is uh, my status box, which I like, because then I can get rid of this whole inch over here of space. So once you click that, it turns into a pencil. You can go anywhere you want and click, and it turns this on. If you double click on the bottom right, you'll be able to get your options if you want those on or not, um, and the color, etc. But basically, you can see here at a glance what direction you're going, how long you've been in the trade, your account that you're running on right now. And you can see if I change this, it's going to change it here. Um, and then obviously if you change this, it's going to change it here. And that way you see at a glance what it is, especially when you have multiple charts. And this is the realize. So if you have one account and you have different instruments, you'll see this change, but your two different status boxes for open orders will be different because this will be related to this chart and the other unrealized open PL will be dealing with the other chart. And um, until they get realized, do they actually uh, do that one? So that's it. And if you don't want to see financials, you could, you know, turn those off, and you'll only get the open P and L, which you're you're in right now. If if you're in an open trade, that's it. You won't see your your end total. So that's it for the status box. You can download that very easily. Just triple trader, and then tools, and then down to status box. It's an indicator. Actually, it's a drawing tool, and it goes under drawing tools right there. <clears throat> And I just have a hotkey associated with it, so it's easier. But other than that, that's about it.